Hi y'all, my name is Caitlin Smith and today I'm going to be doing an S with fabric shears. Okay, so a little introduction. Fabric scissors have a variety of uses from professional use to simple at-home arts and crafts. Uh, but in this study specifically, we're going to be looking at manufacturing some KAI 7250 10 inch scissors uh, for professional use. And the expected outcome for this report is to estimate the cost of manufacturing 500,000 pairs of these scissors. Okay, a little background history for you. Scissors were attributed to the Mesopotamian period around 3,000, 4,000 years ago. Uh, despite there being no archaeological evidence, these scissors appear to be more like shears and consisted of a single U-shaped piece used to cut the skins and hairs of animals. During the Renaissance period, interest in arts and crafts led to significant improvements in the scissors design, but before then, scissors were mainly only used by tailors and barbers until, oh, sorry, but the spring style scissors continued to be in Europe, used in Europe until the 16th century. So this is what we're talking about here is the U-shape and the spring style. Okay, here we go. Crunch some numbers. Okay, so we have different methods whenever we are trying to look at manufacturing these scissors. So for this one, we can go ahead and assume that these were assembled in-house. Uh, since we're looking at the amount of hours, it obviously was not built in-house like the blades were made. Um, but it does have a significant difference from these, uh, from that example, since the hours are a lot higher. So we can go ahead and assume that this one was assembled in-house. Unlike this one, which is the one that we're going to be looking into further, uh, where the hours uh, were significantly less, the labor cost significantly less, but our total cost per unit was a lot more. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, the one that we're going to be looking to further is the one that was, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and buy the shears, just pre-made, ready to go, and then we will just repackage them with our branding in-house. So for, let me go to the side, okay. So we're going to go ahead and order those shears from Universal Sewing Company for $69.99 per unit. That is where a good part of our um, cost per unit comes from. And then uh, we will be ordering those boxes from U Printing. Uh, so we got our dimensions there. They'll fit our shears just nice. And those will be $1.56 per unit. And then for our foam inserts, that's how we're going to go ahead and package them to keep those shears nice and safe during travel. Uh, we're going to order those from Uline. And unlike the boxes, the foam is going to come into some pretty big sheets. So they're going to be like 24 by 24 by 3. So they'll still fit the boxes, but unlike the other one, we will have to um, go ahead and cut those down to size. And then also the boxes will be uh, assembled in-house. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and cut those foam inserts to size. And then all of the labor was based off of a real life simulation and all costs and labor are documented and calculated in Excel. And the labor cost was determined using the burden rate of $85 per hour, just like that other example that we saw earlier. Okay, so a little breakdown for the materials and labor cost estimates. Uh, so our material cost, like I said before, it'll be $78.05 per unit. Uh, the total cost would be $36,045,972 for just the materials. Uh, the standard hours, like I said, it's very, very low. We got 0 0.0005 hours compared to the three point or the four point point four three hours, like in the last example. Uh, but our total hours for building or assembling these in-house will be 250 uh, The burn rate, $85, like we said before. Labor cost, uh, $0.04 cents compared to, I believe it was $36, somewhere around that range. Uh, for that last example, which only comes out to $21,250, making our grand total $36 sorry, $36,067,222 or $78.09 per unit. Okay, so these are just gonna be our cost uh, estimate. Like I said before, 
the shears are just gonna go ahead and come in pre-made ready to go. So we will only have three materials for this example. We will have our pre-made shears, the packaging boxes, and our foam inserts. Um, since we're making 500,000 pairs of shears, we're gonna go ahead and get 500,000 of those. But unlike the boxes and the shears, the foam inserts are gonna come in in those sheets like I was talking about earlier. So we will need 20,844 of those sheets making our totals 34,995,780,000 and 270,972. Okay, and then these are just gonna be our labor costs. Our labor costs are gonna be significantly lower than that other one that we were looking at, just because we are not assembling or really doing anything in house other than just packaging. So to build the box, Oh, sorry. Like I said, this is from like a real life simulation. So this is only just about like an average of what it'll take, not the exact number. But on average, it'll only take about a minute and 22 sec seconds to build the box, uh, to cut the foam, insert the size, then take 41 seconds roughly, uh, inserting the foam, inserting the shears. Those will not take very long at all. So we went ahead and put 11 seconds and nine seconds for those. And then to seal the box and inspect it, make sure it's all good and dandy, is around 37 seconds, which you can see our grand totals there for each of those. But our total labor per employee is gonna be three minutes per unit, total hours 250, and then our total manufacturing labor hours, including everything per unit, uh, 25,000 hours. Okay, and then these are just some of the references that I was referring to as far as the companies that we will order from, uh, where we got that history from, and that, that is pretty much it. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Thank you.